Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to have a look at three different blurs which have do a similar job and which are particularly interesting in terms of the effect on the edges. Because what we often want to do, and just using a simple shape here to, to illustrate this, but we'll be using it in like real pictures uh, in other videos. But this is enough for now. So this is just something with a bit of noise and bits and pieces and so on in it. And uh, this is not, but then there's edges to this as well. So we'll just put this here so you can see what's happening when I put on a blur. So we'll start off the, our favourite blur, Gaussian blur. And let's see what happens when we turn this up. And normally what blurs do is we're typically using them to get rid of noise uh, and things which we don't like, like you know, sort of bits in in you know where faces you need to want to smooth things out. So watch what happens if I turn this up here and see here the noise is disappearing. Yeah, it's going even closer so you can see it. There we go. So as I turn this up. The noise there disappears because it's kind of average, uh, averaging pixels with ones next to it. And I uh, turn it up, and eventually it all averages itself out, so the noise disappears. But look at what's happening here to the edge. I've let Control Zero to go out. Let's just move that back to where it should be. Thank you very much. And as I turn the radius up, the more I go, the more I get this effect. I can click Preserve Alpha to stop this stuff at the outside, but I still have got this around here, which is if you're trying to smooth the face, you don't want all the details on the face and the edge of the face blurring. So that's not quite what we want. So let's do the next type of blur, which is the medium blur. And this is used, this is available in things like Photoshop and so on. And it's used to do something else to this. Let's turn the Gaussian blur off so we got back to our original picture. Let's zoom right in so you can see the noise here. And let's turn the radius up on this. And nothing happens for a bit. But and then eventually it starts. And there we go. And you see this is blurring here, but the edges are being preserved. But you may notice in here there's a curve turning up. And as I turn this up, that curve gets more and more and more. And in fact, if we go out and watch what happens to the shape overall, yeah, see it gets more and more and more curved. It's even hitting the, the outside bit here as well. So it's a kind of a trade-off there. You blur this, but you, your corners get bent. So Let's turn that one off and go to the next one. And the next one, which is interesting, is the bilateral blur. And so let's zoom right into this. And what we can do with this, if you turn the tolerance right down, bing, it goes white. So you need the tolerance up, up a little bit. But if we turn the radius up, nothing much seems to happen. So you do need some tolerance in here. Let's stick it at halfway and then turn tolerance up and see what happens. See now we're getting blurring. Yeah, it's disappearing. So there it's disappeared, but look, the edges are preserved and there's nothing happening at the corners. So that fixes that problem that you get with the medium blur. So, so it's a matter of playing between these. You can get some, see if I turn the tolerance right up, now I'm getting some edge effects. Yeah, and if I come down from this a bit, I've got something a little bit weird there too. But overall, it offers a, a way of fixing the median problem. So we can blur things and preserve edges. We'll be using this in future videos. But for now, those are the things to remember. You see often other videos saying use a median blur. Whenever it says that, have a go at using the bilateral blur. Two things to, f to fiddle with the result is going to be better and you won't damn those corners. That's it and thank you very much for watching.